Hi, I'm Randall Kerr, Manager of Sales Engineering for Digi International. In the wired broadband market, we've seen some high profile data breaches. In some of the most public cases, the risk became greatest when companies were sharing their wired broadband connection with contract workers. In other words, they allowed contractors onto their main network simply because those workers required internet connectivity. This can be a very risky way to solve a straightforward problem. There is a better way to handle things, and that's through the use of cellular routers as a means of isolating connections and segmenting network traffic. There are various options available, such as leveraging private APNs or using VPN connections so that you're isolating network traffic as much as possible. I mentioned the topic of APNs, or access point names. There are three main types of APN. The first one, public dynamic APN, is similar to what is used by the typical cell phone. These offer internet connections, but are most likely not accessible from the outside world. Next is a public static APN, which provides a router with internet access. However, the router will also be visible and accessible from the outside world, making it the riskiest type of APN. Finally, we have a private static APN. For this option, the cell carrier creates a VPN connection back to the network operations center of a customer and then provides SIM cards with private IP addresses only visible to the customer's network. Meanwhile, the routers will not have access to the public internet. This is the most secure option, allowing routers to communicate privately through the use of public cellular infrastructure. When selecting cellular hardware, it is important to examine the entire design of its security model. Digi's latest hardware utilizes TrustFence, a set of features for validating firmware and protecting Digi routers every time they boot. Some of the features of TrustFence are secure access, providing a unique password on every device from the factory. Also, allowing only secure ingress protocols, such as TLS or HTTPS. No insecure legacy protocols like Telnet are allowed. Secure boot. This includes firmware authentication. The router will determine whether its firmware originated from Digi International and will prevent boot up if it has been modified by another entity. TrustFence also includes secure connections for message authentication. Additionally, secure storage is incorporated in the form of a cryptographic module for a fully encrypted file system. Cellular routers offer customers the ability to provide a connection anywhere it's required. In conjunction, Digi Remote Manager protects enterprise networks by giving customers the opportunity to monitor device health, connectivity, data consumption, and security. For more information, go to digi.com.